crafty people welcome to the trd weekender team youtube hop today we are all using the weekender collection that is brand new in the store this weekend and i am going to be using a lot of digital embellishments i get asked a lot if the digital embellishments are printable yes they are fully printable they just don't come on printable sheets so you got to make your own um, today i have used a bunch of the mixed media that lets go stamp from the digital embellishments. These two frames are from the digital embellishments as well. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to put together a page when you use these fun layered frames that also that already have all of the work of clustering done for you. They are super fun and quick. So I'm just using them obviously to frame my photos that I need to trim down now. And before I even started this page, I went ahead and made a little mixed media collage in the background on that white paper that I just printed out all together. Uh, you could print out the mixed media on clear sticker paper so that you can adjust it um, without having it pre-printed on the background if that's what you wanted to do. But I just went ahead and printed it on the background and all I did was use two instances of each of those um, mixed media files so the blue is its own file and the pink is its own file and i knew that the majority of it would get covered up by the photo cluster that i'm creating so i knew that if i had like the the repetition it wouldn't really read as repetition once the um the page was done it would just look like the color sticking out from behind the cluster. So I'm replacing the digital string with real string, but because of the way that the digital string was on that cluster um, or on that frame, you can see that it sort of goes over the photo corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, once I get this tied, I'm gonna use my tiny attacher and I'm going to staple it over the photo corner so it covers up that what's left of that printed string and it makes it a little bit less uh, visual, like you can't really see it, it's underneath matching string this string matches perfectly so um just just replacing the digital some of the digital stuff with real stuff and that gives it a little bit more texture makes it a little bit more interesting i think so there we go i'm going to use my tiny attacher and staple it down and then i'm going to start building my cluster from the top down and i like to do this when i am sort of working my i want my cluster to interlock and um, fit together like a puzzle piece more and I'm more concerned about that than I am concerned about where it's going on the page if that makes sense so I need all of these to fit together right so I'm, I'm working my cluster in midair rather than down on the page and I think that that is a fun way to do it as well uh, especially when you have these pre-done layered items. I think it makes it super easy. And then you can see it fits around that let's go perfectly. And then I just wanted to make sure that one camera down on the bottom was visible and not the one on the top. So I think I did it pretty well. I'm gonna stick down this paper and instead of cutting the whole thing in the beginning, I'm gonna cut it at the end so that I can just work this as one big layout rather than trying to make sure that everything is aligned across the center seam. And I will just cut the center seam once everything's done. I also need to put down these chevrons that I printed, printed and cut from the patterned cards. The patterned cards are obviously a perfect scale for something of this size, but also the pattern scale on the pattern cards is perfect for these smaller paper bits. You can see much more of the pattern than if I had print or if I had cut these from a 12 by 12 paper or even a traveler's notebook size paper. The scale is just a little bit smaller and it works a lot better. Now you're not going to be able to see a lot of the chevron. They're just sort of background. They're going to stick out of the top and the bottom and the sides, but they just add a bit more of a pop of color and they sort of echo the title of Let's Go as well with the rainbow vibe. So I'm just making sure that they are spaced evenly on both sides. And obviously we go up and to the right and down and to the left. And that gives the page a whole lot of motion, which really fits with the theme of being on the subway and you know the movement of the whole thing. So now I just wanna make sure that we can still see the camera and that we are framing that let's go perfectly. Awesome. So I got that all down. I'm gonna go ahead and staple the string so it doesn't move 
Now this little piece is from the Off We Go add-on to the Weekender collection. This is from the digital kit. And then that ticket up there at the top is from the regular stickers from the Weekender collection. So the Weekender collection has a lot of add-ons, has four add-ons all together. One is about travel, like, um, <clears throat> like the actual travel part of things. And then we have a food add-on, a we did this, like we were here add-on for you know attractions or what, what you do on vacation. And then the last one is staying local, like um, around town rather than going somewhere far. So now I need to replace the string that was on that film strip tag. And I'm going to actually tie both of these together so that there's a little bit of movement on this page. So the um, subway tag will be hanging free and it can move around. Uh, and also this just replaces that printed string and makes it obviously more realistic and gives it more texture. Now at this point I can add stamps if I want. I could add enamel dots. I could add puffy stickers from other lines, anything like that. Uh, but I decided to just leave it alone and let the Weekender collection stand on its own because I think that this page looks really great all by itself. All of that mixed media in the background just makes the whole thing so dynamic and pretty. I did take off this word bit when I cut it so that I wouldn't cut down the middle of the word. And then I need to add my holes and I will call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. The Weekender collection is available and it's still on sale for National Scrapbooking Day. There is a link in the description box below to everyone else on this YouTube hop if you want more inspiration with the Weekender collection. There's also a link to the blog post for the YouTube hop as well as a direct link to the Weekender collection itself. And yeah, that is it from me and I will see you next time. All right, thank you.